Hello and welcome to the April reading vlog. Sunday, April 3rd. I have not read anything yet. I'm really busy with school and I had to finish my last book for March on the 1st. So I haven't started anything yet, but wanted to start the vlog. I just got book mail. I just got this huge book. <laughs> European Travel for the Monstrous Gentlewoman by Theodora Goss. This is the second book in the Athena series. I think it's a longer name than that. This is the second book. Um, I read the first book in March and this I'm gonna read this book this month. Not yet though. This says 706 so don't love that when I also have a 800 page book on this TBR but um, we only have four books so hopefully it's doable. It is doable but hopefully I do it. <laughs> I'm excited for it other than the chunkiness but I enjoyed the first book. I think I gave it four stars so I'm excited to continue the series. I might start reading it today. I don't know. I've got lots of homework and stuff to do so probably not. I really don't know when I'm gonna start reading any book because the next week is extremely busy. I have my birthday. It's also the last week of school. Um, next week is exam week, but this is the last week of classes. And so I have two tests. I'm finishing a project of today. I have a paper due Friday, project due tomorrow, but I'm done that. But my group has to do a presentation tomorrow. I can't remember if that's it, maybe that's it. Um, so I have a lot going on with also just classes so don't know if I'll start a book this week which will not be great for my reading progress if I don't start it this week but also things happen so just hello and welcome to the vlog hi long time no talk it's seriously been like two weeks it is April 15th and I have not read anything not one thing, nothing, nothing, nothing. I have been busy with school, busy with life, busy with everything, and it's been a lot. But I officially finished my classes yesterday, and I need to move out of this place because I live on campus, if you don't know. I'm going to actually start with this chunker, European Travel for the Monstrous Gentlewoman by Theodore Goss. The reason I'm going to do this is because it's the second book in the series and I'm going to listen to it on audio while I pack a bit. I don't know how much I'm going to listen to it because I'm going to watch some YouTube as I do it and probably end up watching some Netflix as I do this as well. But I thought it'd be an easy way for me to get back into reading and back on track. But it is a chunker so it's going to take me some time to get through. I think the audiobook is like 24 hours or something like that. I think I put it at either 1.9 or 2.2 times speed. That's the one thing I'm not gonna miss about this place is how loud this person is and how loud this person is. I'm excited to leave that, but I do, I'm gonna miss this place. But anyway, 1.9 or 2.2 times speed and it's like 13 hours. So that's not too awful. It's not like as quick as the first one, but it is double like the length, physical length as well. So the first one, if you don't know, is The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. It has callbacks to a bunch of old um, classics, the daughters of a lot of these people or like their experiments and stuff. So it's following them. There's like one mystery of in the first book of like murders happening in the place that they live, London. I don't know if they live in London. And they're trying to figure out the murder, who the murderer is and all that stuff. And uh, as the story progresses, we add more characters and they become the Athena Club, which is what the series is called. Not a lot happened in it, but I still enjoyed it. I know a lot of people didn't like the first one, but I gave it like four stars. One of the book club picks for Mel Reed's Patreon. My goal is two or three bucks for the rest of the month. I don't really expect to finish my whole TBR because it's 15 days and I have two books that are chunky. This one's 700 and something pages, 706 pages and Crescent City 2 or House of Sky Breath is like 800. 
standard, but Finley Donovan is what I'm reading for Spring Flingoween, which happens at the end of the month, so hopefully I'm, hopefully I actually do, because I really want to, but, but I'm finally starting reading for the month, hopefully this, hopefully I read more than like 10 pages. <laughs> I have not been reading, so I don't really have anything to tell you. I did, you know how I said I was gonna like start this, listening to this when I was packing to move? Um, I read like the first two paragraphs, but then yesterday I read some, but I only listened to it on audio, so I don't know how far I got into it, but not even a full chapter. I started Fat Chance Charlie Mega by Crystal Maldonado yesterday, and I'm only on page 25. But I am loving it already, so I'm going to continue reading this today. But I'm going to, what I started this vlog, or this clip for, was I'm going to reorganize my bookshelves. Because I have no room. I have no room. And it's stressful, so I um, need to reorganize them. It's the 20th today. I posted my TBR yesterday but it was a way for me to get back into posting and editing. So that's why I posted it so late. Basically, if you don't know right now, this is my contemporary, this is true crime, romance, mystery, thriller, mystery, thriller, mystery, thriller, all the way to this shelf that you can't see. And the bottom shelf is my fantasy, sci-fi, and nonfiction self-help type of books. In theory, I could put those somewhere else, but the part that needs more room is my mystery thriller and technically my romance. I am going to move it into red and not red division. You know what? I might hate this and I might just change it right back, but I'm gonna do it for now. I think I'm probably gonna do what I've read. My guess is it's only gonna be two shelves and I'm gonna do within genres. Like I'm gonna do genre by genre in each. This is showing my issue enough that I have I'm not reading the books on my shelves. These are all the, the um, contemporary and romance that I have read and um, one true crime. Girl, what? These are all the romances that I haven't read. These are all the contemporary that I haven't read and those are all the true crime that I haven't read. To be fair, these are my least read genres. I mean, it looks pretty and colorful up there. I'm going to do my, I'm gonna put my fantasy up there that needs to be up there next. My mystery thriller um, section is gonna be the biggest, so I'm just gonna, all the other sections done, and then just have it my mystery and thriller. All that I've read, I'm supposed to be reading this, but I haven't, haven't read those, haven't read those. Okay, it, this is where it starts to be ones that I've read. I've read, these three this one so yeah just these ones that need to go up there so i want to leave a little room up there because my red shelf will continue to go but i don't really want to leave that much this is the section that i think i've read the most look really good because they're different heights but I'm just gonna leave this chunk of room here so things can get moved around easily this is gonna have to be more than two shelves but that makes me happy that means I've read more than two shelves on my bookshelf
don't imagine I'm going to take a whole another shelf full of, I've already read. You know what? I'm kind of a genius. I did the exact amount of books. And then I just have these ones left. Top three shelves I like, but once we get to this shelf, I'm not as big of a fan. But maybe this will make me be more likely to read the books that I own because I want to make this look nicer. To be honest, I thought that was going to take me like 10 years longer. And there's also a couple books that I could get rid of. Not these. But it's only a couple. I'm just going to wait and do like a unhaul before I move next. So there's the one true crime that I read, my three contemporary that I've read but I haven't even finished this one yet, but a romance, fantasy, then right into mystery, thriller, all that stuff, which fills up this whole shelf as well, and then half of this shelf. Right here is where, th this is all red, did I say that? Yeah, red 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 and then right here is where it becomes books i haven't read but these are still mystery thriller things mystery thriller mystery thriller up till here these are true crime true crime romance from here to here contemporary contemporary fantasy there's like one sci-fi that's what it looks like right now I think I like it how it was before more, but I'm gonna keep it like this for at least a little bit. Now I'm going to do some reading. Hopefully next time I see you, I've got some good reading done. It is later in the day, not that much later. I don't really know what time it is. I just got to page 102, 103 of Fat Chance, Charlie Vega. I'm still loving this book it's so good very relatable like there's so many different aspects to this book that i think everyone could relate to it in some way this is like quintessential movie that i would watch so more people should read it because i saw that it only has like six thousand something reviews or readers i can't remember on goodreads like oh, what it's so good. More people need to read it. I'm only like a third through. I'm not even a full third through. A third of the way through. So that was my goal for today. I might read more, but that was my goal. So I'm going to do some other things. If you wanted to read this book, do it. Do it, do it, do it. I don't even need to finish to tell you to do it.
Hello. Sorry, my hair's a mess, but I feel like you're kind of used to that. But I thought I'd just give a little update on my reading. It is literally the next day. I'm on page 259 now, and I think that's 75% through the book. But I have about 72 pages left in the range of 72 to 82. I'm still loving it, adoring it. So cute, and like there's... It tackles like... So many different topics in here. I'm really enjoying it. I don't think I'm gonna finish it tonight. I mean, I might. It's, on, it's only like two o'clock, but I need to do other things. So I don't know if I'll read any more tonight or today. I might, but probably not that much. If you just need a feel-good book, read this. I don't really even know what's gonna happen in the last 80 pages. I was just looking back at the books I've read so far this year. I don't know why I thought I read four books in February, but I read five books in January, three books in February, four books in March, and so far no books in April. Hasn't been the best reading year, but like also gotta be nice to myself. I lied. I uh, finished Fat Jan Starly Vega. I just kind of figured I'd finish it because I can't focus on anything else currently, so I just figured at least I'm being productive in some way. And now that I'm done this, maybe I'll be able to focus on something else. For most of the book, I thought it was gonna be a five stars, but I kind of feel like it's a 4.5, I don't know. There was just some parts after the halfway mark that were just kind of like, okay, we didn't need this. Like, there's a just a few scenes that could have been taken out that just like, I was getting a little bored, I guess. I don't really want to say that because I wasn't bored, but you know what I mean. Like, it's like, let's move on to the next thing. That's the only thing that's going to bring it down for me. I feel like I should put it as a five on my Goodreads since you can't put half stars on there. I finished my first book of April on April 21st, so love that for me. I will definitely read from Crystal Maldonado in the future. We can officially add another book to my red shelf. Now I think I'm going to focus on European travel for The Monstrous Gentlewoman by Theodora Goss. This will be what I'm reading next with the audiobook because I don't think I can read it without the audiobook, but I finished a book. Hello, it is, I don't know what day it is, <laughs> the 26th holy it is the 26th okay i gotta get going with my reading i have some reading updates for you and a mini haul so let's do the haul first yesterday my mom and i went shopping we just needed to get out of the house go do something so we went to a different mall than we normally go to um and so we went to the indigo there and to be honest for about 75 percent of the store maybe Maybe like 60% of the store. Nothing was like calling out to me. Nothing was making me want to read it and get it. And then I found three, but I only got two. Actually, there was four books that I was interested in, but two of them I just took pictures of. Maybe I'll get later, but I'm not going to read them anytime soon, I don't think. So I do have plans for one of the books in this haul. And the other one, I never see it at the chapters that I normally go to. I got If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. Here's the thing. The only thing about this that I'm a little worried about is this one is like a murder mystery. Here, I'll just enter the players. There were seven of us then, seven bright young things with wide precious futures ahead of us. Until that year, we saw no farther than the books in front of our faces. On the day this guy <laughs> is released from jail, the man who put him there is waiting at the door. Detective Colborn wants to know the truth, and after 10 years, Blank is finally ready to tell it. I don't know if, if that's, that's, that's a spoiler, so I just don't want to put his name. I don't think it's a spoiler since it's in the first two small paragraphs of the synopsis but a decade ago blank is one of the seven young shakespearean actors at the delacher share classical conservatory a place of keen ambition and fierce competition in this secluded world of firelight and leather bound books blank and his friends play the same roles on stage and off hero villain tyrant temptress on opening night 
real violence invades the student's world to make of make belief. In the morning, the fourth years find themselves facing their own tragedy and their greatest acting challenge yet, convincing the pe police, each other, and themselves that they're innocent. The thing that I'm a little nervous about this is they're in a Shakespearean, they're Shakespearean actors or whatever. So I know like that much about Shakespeare. So if that's a huge part of this, I'm a little scared, but I'm just hoping it's not a super huge part of it that or like that if it is a big part of it, it is explained enough for the person that doesn't super know that stuff. And I like this cover of it. Very pretty. And then I got Nine Lives by Peter Swanson. We went to the mall, Indigo, first and then we went to Costco. And of course it was at Costco and it was like a dollar cheaper. <laughs> so I'm sad. I have read only one Peter Swanson, but I have three of his other ones. I think... The only one I don't have, actually he probably has a long backlist, but one that I'm interested in reading that I don't have is The Kind Worth Killing. I decided to get it, but there was one part in this synopsis that made me like not want to get it. <laughs> Nine strangers receive a list with their names on it in the mail. Nothing else, just a list of names on a single sheet of paper. None of the nine people know or have ever met the others on the list. They dismiss it as junk mail, a fluke, until very, very bad things begin happening to people on that list. So why are they all on the list and who sent it? FBI agent Jessica Winslow, who is on the list, herself is determined to find out. Could there be some dark secret that binds them all together or is this the work of a murderous madman? As the mysterious sender stalks these nine strangers, they find themselves constantly looking over their shoulder, wondering who will be crossed off next. So I skipped the part that made me not want to buy this, but I decided to still get it. So as you can probably tell from this vlog, I've been struggling with reading a lot and like just not been super motivated to read. I mean, I had a lot of tests at the beginning of this month, but, and a lot of school at the beginning of this month, but still, I've just struggled with reading. So I decided to start reading Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark because that seems to be super popular and a really fast read. People really like it. So I decided to start reading it. I can't remember when I started reading it, maybe on the weekend, but I'm about, or the end of last week, but I'm about 51% through it. And I just kind of read it whenever I have a chance, but I want to finish it by the end of the month. So that gives me like four days. With European Travel of the Monstrous Gentlewoman, I have read more, I'm on page 160. But girl, that's like not even a third through. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna finish this on time. That's okay, but I would have liked to, but the fact that I just realized there's four days left, I don't think that's gonna happen because I also need to do school. And then tomorrow is the beginning of Spring Fling Halloween, which I really wanted to participate in. And then also the book I chose for it, I wanted to read, and that is Finley Donovan is Killing It by El Casamato. Casamano. I'm in the middle of a Brutal Prince and I'm in like a quarter of the way through that. But I think I'm going to pick this up tomorrow and hopefully I might honestly start it today and just start my TBR today because this is the only book on my TBR for that. It's described as a really fast paced read that you just want to keep reading. So I need that in my life. So I think I'm going to pick it up hopefully finish it by the end of the month. I kind of just had no hope with reading this. I still have a little paper one bookmark in here from reading like the prologue, but I just have no hope in reading this this month. Today is Tuesday. I'm going to film my TBR tomorrow, I think, for May. I'm struggling with reading, so I have big plans for the next four days, even though I don't have that much time to read. But the thing with this one, last thing I'll say, the thing with this one is I'm enjoying it. It's good, but it's so long that it's kind of making me like, like normally I'd be halfway done of this book. Like if this was a normal size book, I would be halfway done it. So it's kind of, what's the word? Disheartening? You know what I'm trying to say? Like it doesn't make me want to read it because it's not like I'm close to being done. And that's why I kind of want to pick this up. Just so I can like get a book done and it feels good. My goals at least is to finish this and Brutal Prince by the end of the month. Then I would have read three books this month. She's struggling, but that's fine. Hello. Um, so it is Thursday the 28th. 
Um, yesterday I finished Brutal Prince and I really enjoyed it. I gave it a four stars, but it might be a five star. I don't really even have a reason to give it a four star, not a five star. Didn't really have a, a feeling either way. Finished that last night and it's only the second book I finished in April, so. And it's the 20, well I guess it was the 27th technically when I finished it. I'm still on page 160 or 161 of European travel for the monstrous gentlewoman. I kind of decided I'm gonna put that on the back burner because I'm not gonna finish it by the end of the month. Um, but I just started Finley Donovan is Killing It. Today is technically the second day of Spring Fling Halloween, and this was what I wanted to read for that, and I've been waiting to read it for this, so I wanted to make sure I actually read it, but I'm really enjoying it already, and so I'm hoping I finish this before April ends. Um, it feels really fast-paced and easy read, so I think it's possible, but yeah, I think the prompts are read a book with pink or yellow on the cover and then read a backlist. I think it's supposed to be thriller or horror and this is kind of more mystery. It's cozy mystery. But I'm just gonna count it. It's one of Olivia's favorites and she's one of the hosts for it so I just want to like read three at least three books this month to be honest so hoping I finish this and I'll just continue European travel in May. I don't think I told you guys what Brutal Prince is about, so it is a dark romance, dark mafia romance. It's the start of the Brutal Birthright series from Sophie Lark. A enemies to lovers, kind of arranged marriage, forced marriage. Adds like a contract between two families. I quite enjoyed it, that's like the main idea of it. And then the series follows a different individuals that were introduced in the first book and different couples but there i think there are other new characters as well it's like each book follows a couple and i think we know someone from each couple already and then finley donovan is killing it is about a mom who is an author who is struggling with money and her ex-husband and um she's meeting up with her agent at panera and she's overheard um, talking about her romance, she writes like romance, mystery, thriller type of books, and she's talking about the plot of that, and someone overhears her and thinks she's a hit woman, and they give her money to kill someone for them, and it just unfolds from there. Hello, I haven't talked to you guys in a bit, um, it is May 4th, but... I'm still in the April vlog because I haven't finished Finley Donovan is Killing It yet. I am on page 210 and I think there's like 355 or something. I wasn't going to put this in this vlog, but I think I'm not doing a monthly vlog for May. I'm going to try out something different, so I figured I'll just finish this vlog when I finish this book. Um, but yeah, it's the fourth. I just haven't had time to read. I kind of think... For the time being, I should probably become more reliant on audiobooks, but it's honestly really hard for me to just focus on an audiobook. I'm really enjoying this. I think it's a super fun. I haven't really, like, laughed out loud funny. Maybe I have, but nothing really sticks out to me that I laughed out loud, but it's, like, funny, you know? So I have about 140 pages left. I'm hoping to finish this, like, maybe tomorrow. That'd be cool to finally start on my... May TBR. I believe I told you about Nine Lives and If We Were Villains, like Nine Lives by Peter Swanson and If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio, but then we went to a different city for something else, um, a different day, and I got The Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. This will be my first book by her. It's about a couple that like are serial killers together. Um, it says Dexter meets Mr. and Mr. Smith. Did I say Mr. and Mr.? Dexter meets Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It is a widely compulsive debut thriller about a couple whose 15 year marriage has finally gotten too interesting. It is like a hefty, very floppy 
but kind of a hefty thriller. Well, it says it's only 367, but that looks like more than 367. No Exit by Taylor Adams. I just, I wanted to read this for a while, but I wasn't really in a hurry, but I do want to watch the movie, so I would like to read this soon. I know the movie isn't great, but I just, I want to read this before I watch the movie, because if I watch the movie first, I'm going to have no want to read this, because it's a thriller, so I already know what happens. And because um, the movie's not good, so apparently. Supposedly, the movie is just not good. So, it'll make me not want to read this. All my updates. So, I'll talk to you later. Hello. It is the... I think I talked to you guys yesterday. It's the 5th now. Well, I'm still wearing the same shirt, but it's um, still morning. And I just haven't changed yet. I finished Finley Donovan is Killing It. And I loved it. It's gonna be five stars for sure. I read more yesterday and I only had about 50 to 60 pages to read this morning. So I just got that done. And yeah, I really enjoyed all of this. People say that the end of this has like a huge cliffhanger and it is a cliffhanger, but it isn't at the same time. Like it's one that I am able to not read the second book right away. I do want to read it soon. Overall just enjoyed it. Totally worth the hype. So like if you've been like thinking about it, I think it was really good. That is going to be the last book we read in this vlog. So I'm going to close it out now. That was my April reading vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up because both of those mean the absolute world to me. My Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, and Amazon wishlist will be linked in the description box below if you're interested in checking any of those out. Make sure to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!